Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University. I want to stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about um, HDP Certified Developer uh, Data Transformation Module in which we are covering uh, several uh, operations in PIG. So as part of this video, I will be talking about re removing the duplicate tuples of a PIG relation. So um, it's pretty straightforward, uh, nothing complex at all. If you click on this link and if you go here, uh, so they are talking about removes, removing the duplicate tuples in a relation. So the syntax is very simple, distinct uh, and then relation name. That's the ma <coughs> mandatory uh, uh, syntax. So you have to give distinct operator and the relation name. And then uh, you can say uh, partition by and parallel if you want to. Uh, change the number of reducers which we will see in the next video or uh, next topic in this case we will just focus on how to uh, use distinct to remove the duplicates in the data set so for this I will be using uh, uh, two things uh, one is uh, whatever uh, uh, they are showing here uh, actually no need of this we will directly use our um, uh, uh, data in the database okay so let's start uh, loading the data so as you are aware we have order data under location user root scoop import so this is the location where we have imported data from uh, mysql database and uh, here i want to give uh, the location for the orders data set and uh, using big storage and you can give the delimiter which is comma in our case and hit enter so this is this is uh, 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 no schema uh, so there will be no schema for uh, for this relation orders which we have just created so you can say describe orders and hit enter schema for orders is unknown so you need to know the structure of the table you can go to the mysql and you can check there are four fields in the table order id order date order uh, uh, customer id and order status so as part of this effort we will see how we can get and the distinct uh, order statuses we have in our data set so we have almost 68883 orders in this table but uh, it's a valid uh, requirement that we want to see what are what all different statuses we have uh, in orders so for that we have to eliminate all the duplicates and get only the distinct which we can accomplish using a distinct operator so let's say order status distinct is the relation which we will assign the distinct uh, orders so distinct is the operator which you have to use and here uh, so distinct only works on the relation it will not work on the um, uh, individual fields in the relation so we cannot apply distinct directly on this so first we need to apply the transformation by using the for each operator and then we have to get the we have to run the distinct operator uh, on the uh, transformed relation so what is the transformation we need to do here we have to go through each and every record and we we have to get only the order status for that what you have to do is you have to say order status it is the relation name and then for each order is the table name generate dollar three because uh, the fourth column in the table is the order status which can be represented by dollar three here you can give the name if you want uh, let us give the name as order uh, status it doesn't matter whether you give name or not because we can actually uh, use this one to process the data and hit enter now if you describe still i think it will say describe uh, schema for orders unknown uh, sorry schema for order status it's uh, known because we haven't typecasted here if you don't typecast the implicit conversion will take it to byte array because everything is internally can be represented as byte array because the dollar three uh, which is the uh, order status does not have the schema it is not sure what is the data type so it is using uh, byte array by default so now you you will have uh, order status in this 
you can validate by first limiting order status limit equal to limit order status 10 so we would like to see what what order status have by using this order status limit and then you can use dump command and then order status limit and hit enter so you can see that it has the order statuses uh, in the form of uh, the relation each each row is one order status all the other data set is discarded uh, which includes order id order date and order customer id now if you want to get the distinct on this uh, you can say order status distinct this is the rest name and uh, i want to do uh, uh, i want to apply distinct operator on this and then order status and enter now uh, you will get all the distinct uh, order statuses into this you can now uh, do explain order status uh, distinct and see the explain plan if you want uh, it will generate the explain plan uh, this one takes only one MapReduce job uh, and uh, we will interpret how it works later. For now, if you want to look into explain plan, you can use explain and get it. Okay. So now if you want to uh, see the all our distinct order statuses, you just write dump order status. Our relation, uh, our relation name is order status distinct here and hit enter. It will run the MapReduce job and get the results for you. So there is some issue with the uh, with the path so it is not able to find uh, orders under scoop, user root scoop import how to troubleshoot this you just have to say fs minus ls user root scoop import and hit enter there is orders here so let's see orders and hit enter there is data set so let us run it again it shouldn't be a problem actually and then dump okay there is some issue Order status limit. Okay, there is some issue. Let I think uh, something is not running. We can go to uh, Ambari sandbox 8080 and see if everything is healthy. Enter. Yeah, everything looks healthy so let me quit from here and then launch pig again and then go back to first read the orders and then uh, order status okay and then order status distinct equal to distinct order status hit enter and then dump order status distinct and hit enter now it is running i don't know why it failed earlier you will see all the distinct order statuses in a moment okay now you can see all the distinct order statuses um, as is in the table there are nine uh, order statuses in the original table here also you are seeing nine order statuses so it is very important for you to validate i have already validated this uh, several times so i know that there are only nine order statuses so we will uh, show another example to get the distinct uh, uh, to use the distinct uh, to remove the duplicates in this case we will use the uh, with schema approach especially using hive
okay for that ensure that you you launch uh, the pig with uh, use hitch catalog so that you can actually talk with hive meta store to get the schema from the hive tables so we have the table in pig demo database pig underscore demo database and the table name is orders and uh, using org dot apache dot hive dot hive catalog sorry h catalog dot pig dot h cat loader it is very important to remember this path uh, it, it, it will they will provide the, the uh, help for sure or documentation uh, most likely but still it will be uh, good if you can remember it's very easy to remember org dot apache is uh, uh, the base package and then we are trying to talk with hive using h catalog so org apache hive h catalog and we are trying to call from pig so hive catalog pig and then we are trying to use class called h cat loader by calling its constructor so if you understand the logic uh, you can easily remember that now if you describe it describe orders you can see there is a schema for this so you can say order status still you have to apply the transformation to discard uh, the rest of the columns so for each orders generate order status earlier we have used dollar three because we don't ha have the schema and now if you describe order status you can see it is carrier whereas earlier it, it was showing byte array because when we actually pass it as dollar three don't know the data type of it so it inherited uh, implicitly as byte array but now we know from high meta store that order status is of type carrier that's why it uh, uh, automatically implied a carrier for order status now you can say order status distinct equal to distinct operator order status and hit enter and you can dump order status distinct and hit enter now it will again run the map reduce job and it will get you the nine distinct order states so now you can see all the uh, different uh, nine order states so that being said um, i hope you are enjoying the content on my channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to ask any technical questions please go to stack overflow and write with write it with the appropriate tags if you have uh, if you want to further discuss on certifications please uh, join my linkedin group itvarsity minus hadoop certifications or hyphen hadoop certifications and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye